Hi, in this video I'm going to show how you install the Tabletop Simulator mod for the Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game on your computer. The first thing that you'll need is uh, Steam from Valve. Um, it's a gaming platform for your computer. And in order to get that you need to open a browser and go to the uh, site steampower.com. I'll put a link in the description below. So um, after you went to that site, uh, there's the install Steam button on the top of it. Go ahead, click on that, takes you to the next page, which again has a install Steam button. And you also click on that. This will download the Steam setup app. So you just open that and um, run through the installation. Just, just follow the instructions. So once, you, once you've done that, come back here, I'll wait for you. All done? Perfect. Now let's switch to Steam. So in Steam, you first want to go to the Steam store. Right? That, click on that uh, link on top of the screen. And then uh, click into the uh, search store uh, field and type tabletop simulator as you start typing you should see how this list uh, pre-populates for you and on top of the list we have the uh, tabletop simulator it's currently being on sale which is a thing that happens quite often so um, yeah if you're lucky or if you wait a little bit you you can get it uh, for cheap i think it's uh, 50 percent off so click on that takes you to the game store side uh, where you can then um, purchase the game uh, for yourself. So once you've done that, um, you want to head to your library. Okay, so on top of the screen, click on the library tab, takes you to your uh, game library, which will show uh, all the games you've got installed. Click on Tabletop Simulator, takes you to the Tabletop Simulator's games site. And um, here, before you start the game, first thing we want to do is subscribe to the um, A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game mod um, on the Steam Workshop. Okay, so you've got a couple of links up here. And to the right, there's the workshop link. Just go ahead, click on that. And um, on this page, you can find all kinds of games, game mods for the tabletop simulator. We want to search for the A Song of Ice and Fire mod. So click into the search field, just type A Song of Ice and Fire, just press enter. And here we just get one result, which is the uh, community edition of this mod. Click on that. Scroll a little bit down and here you've got the subscribe button. Subscribe to it and you should see this check mark indicating that you're now subscribed to the mod. And that's all you need to do on this end. So now we can go back to the library. Okay. Click on our game and press play to start it. So this will take a moment for the game to start up. On the start page, we can then create our own game or join a game uh, in progress that somebody else has set up. Let's create our own game now. Let's create a multiplayer game. Um, you then give the uh, game a name, okay, a server name. Uh, I call it Bartenders In. Uh, whether you want it to be public, friends only, invite only, and then you also give a password. You can then set the maximum number of players that are allowed to join your game. Um, while this is strictly a two-player game, you can increase that number if you want to allow spectators, for example. Then press Create Server. And on this page, we now decide which game we want to play. Here you should find um, the uh, mod that you've installed uh, most recently on the left. Okay, so in this case, that's the, um, the Song of Ice and Fire mod. Um, so click on it and click load. 
<clears throat> this will take a moment uh, for the mod to load up. And if you have not played it yet, um, it needs to download everything you see here from the internet. So that might take a moment. Um, just be a little bit patient. Okay, it's now done loading and you're all set to play. Um, what you now want to do is invite um, some players, <laughs> one player at least, uh, to, to play the game with you. And you can either do that by sending the uh, details of your server, so server name, password that you've entered before via Discord, WhatsApp, uh, however you want to uh, contact people. Um, if you already are friends with them on Steam. You can also invite them directly uh, through the tabletop simulator. So in the upper right hand corner, you, you see your own nickname and there's this invite friends button. So you click on that and then you get a list of friends to invite. I'm currently offline, so nothing shows up, but this is, uh, this is how you'd be doing that, um, which is rather convenient. And that's it, you're ready to play. See you on the next video.